hey 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 welcome if you are new welcome back if you have been here before and thanks for coming back i am freya this is budget budgets where we are working on financial security for our family and that includes paying off a heap of debt um happy sunday i hope you guys are having a beautiful weekend it is freezing here um but the sun is out so i'm happy we're happy um, we love a sun out day. Today is going to be a little bit of an everything video. Um, we're going to do our budget with me for the week. We're going to do a massive cash unstuffing um, and our weekly check-in. I have a few new items listed up in Etsy. I have a couple of freebies for you guys. Uh, and if I have worked it out, you should be able to get them by clicking the link below. There'll be a little thing in my description that says freebies and a little link to a Google Drive um, where you can download those. And I have a fun new toy, you guys. Should we start with my fun new toy? Look at this. Oh, oh isn't it so cute? <laughs> it's a little, it's a little witch's heart. I'm, I'm into all things like witchy witchy, um, always have been. Um, it's a little witch's heart and it's gonna roll dice for me. I hope that's not too loud. I really hope it's not too loud because this is going to be our new Monday minis. Oh my God, guys, it's so much, it's so much fun. I might have to deaden the noise a little bit when I edit though, because it does, it does feel loud, but you'll see that in action tomorrow for Monday minis. Um, so for today, we're going to do a few admin things. So first up, I have a different binder. Oh, these ones feel so nice. I have a different binder. We're going to do a quick swap over. The reason for this is purely because I want this binder for something else. And I just felt like this, I felt like this vibe suited the kids' school stuff better. And this is better for the other thing that I want it for. So we're just going to put all of the school things in. Oh, just see if I can get them in. All of the school things in here. Come on. Play nice. There we go. Um, I got new nails on. Oh, oh gosh, the other ones were hard to get off, you guys. They weren't ready. Um, I think they would have lasted like a lot longer had I have left them. Um, yeah, uh, they, they did not want to budge. Okay, so that is that. And you will see this one again tomorrow for Mini Mondays. Mm, what's she doing? What's she doing, guys? Okay, so while I'm in here, um, I have been busy. I've been busy and we have some new, um, we have some new trackers. I have some new envelopes as well for me personally, but I also have created some new trackers for, um, for myself and for Etsy. So this one's just for Etsy because I realized that I didn't have just a general sports one, especially for like school sports and stuff. So um, we've got sports, it's got, it's just a little icon that's got like a basketball, a soccer ball, tennis ball, tennis racket, football. So it kind of covers off, you know, most sports things. Um, so that's already up on Etsy. We have a school holidays tracker, which I'm gonna put in here. I probably won't bother with it for this school holidays. i show you guys for a second. Um, so what I did was just all different activities that you might like, that we might do on school holidays kind of thing. I kind of thought it would double up as a good tracker and also a good um, like ideas prompter. I don't know about you guys, but school holidays comes and I'm like, I honestly have no idea what to do with you guys. And I forget that everything exists. Like I forget the museums there. I forget about the zoo. Um, so I thought this might be a fun little kind of, you know, prompt card as well for things to do on holidays. So you can make each icon whatever you like. Uh, there's 15 all up. Um, yeah. So that's for school holidays. Then we have school production, which is just a little snapboard. Snapboard? What do you call those things? Anyway, snapboard and camera. Um, again, you can choose how much you want each icon to be. That way you can kind of tally up um, how much you want to save. So that's for that one. That's also up on Etsy now. And then school camp. It's just a little tent and a little campfire. I was gonna do a whole heap of other things, but then it started feeling a little bit too busy. So we've just gone with the campfires. Again, you can choose your, your um, icon value. I've left dollar signs off so that, you know, they're good for anybody anywhere if your currency is not in dollars. Um, yeah, so school camp's going in there. 
So that's those new ones. Then I have, I will be adding into here. I did update, that one can go away because I did update my annual subscriptions. This is available on Etsy as well and you can request for it to be personalized or you can request for it to be just blank so you can hand write them in. I might do the blank one in a separate listing. I haven't done it yet, but I will go around to it. Um, but yeah, so they're all our annual subscriptions and that's updated. Um, you will notice, yeah, I had to play around with them. We've deleted Disney for now. So our Disney was due, our annual Disney was due to come out in July. And when I logged in to check the price, it's gone up by 40 bucks a year. Um, no, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. Um, so I, yeah, we're not going to renew it for now. My daughter is pretty much the only one who um, really watches it religiously. And we do also have, oh, where am I going to put? I might put it here. Um, yeah, we've got Netflix and we do also own, we own a lot of Disney movies on Apple TV that she can stream. Um, so yeah, we're just going to take a break from it for a little while. Um, I have created an ambulance for us because for some reason I wasn't tracking that. Ours is due in June, so I'll be starting to save again for next year. That's our ambulance membership. I know a lot of states have it. Um, same deal, track is just little ambulances. You can choose the, uh, the value of the icons. So that is for that. I think there's 24 trucks ambulances um yeah so we're going to give disney a little break and see how we do without it for a little while and i mean like if life sucks without it obviously we'll get it back um but yeah for now i've redistributed the money that we had already saved for that across other subscriptions that we want including our costco membership that we want to renew um, so we're adding an optical one in here again. I don't know why I didn't think of this in the first place because both myself, my husband and my oldest daughter, we all wear glasses. Um, so that's the new optical tracker. Um, it's just eyes cause then it covers everything. Like it covers the eye, eye test, glasses, whatever, everything. Um, and I just thought that was cute. I thought that looked really cool once they're colored in. Yeah, no. Uh, so that's that one. That's the new one for in there. Sorry, I feel like I'm waffling today. And then we've got a few new ones going in here. Now, where are we going to put them? We've got work, hair, beauty. Uh, I think they might go... I think they might go in here. So the new ones going in here is Skin Check. Um, so that is for... Sorry, I've just got the itchy nose. Um, anyone who lives in Australia will know that because we get a lot of sunshine, um, we are recommended to have skin checks for like skin cancers, moles, melanomas, etc. Um, once a year, I am well and truly overdue for mine. Um, so have you had one last year? Um, which is good, but yeah, I'm, I'm way overdue. So I want to start saving for, um, I suppose this year's one for him and one for me as well. So I've got a little tracker for that too. So we'll pop that in here. It's in here because it's not, it's not like urgent. It's just something we should, should do, you know? So it's not in our high priority ones because it's not immediately necessary. Uh, not cleaning. Next we're going to do swimming. Um, so this is for um, my kids for like, um, got a bit tongue tied this morning. It's not for their lessons. I pay for their lessons monthly and it's on a direct debit, so I don't cash stuff for those. But this is for all of the other things that they need that I keep forgetting about, like bathers and goggles and stuff like that. Um, my daughter does high level squad swimming. And so she goes through bathers pretty quickly because um, like, <laughs> bathers just don't last that long. Even when I buy the chlorine resistant ones, she usually needs a new pair like at least every six months. And every time that comes around, for some reason, I forget that good quality chlorine resistant bathers are stupidly expensive. Um, so yeah, I want to start saving for those things on a tracker so that I remember that it's important that I'm putting money aside for those. My son has also just got to the level where he's about to try out for squad. Um, so he will need more betas and things as well. Um, so that's for that. That is also up on Etsy. And then we've got cleaning. Um, so 
Uh, I don't play pay for cleaners for a house. Would that I could believe you me. I am so envious of people who have cleaners come, even if it's just to do like the vacuuming and the mopping. Oh my lord, that would be amazing. Um, however, our we're, we've just due for a rental inspection this week, so we've been cleaning like mad people. Um, our next that means our next one is going to fall right on top of Christmas, which it did last year, and it was a nightmare. So I want to have money aside to be able to pay for a bond clean, even if we aren't moving out, so that if come December, I really don't have the energy to be doing a full house clean. And I mean, not that I'm doing it on my own, hubby definitely does more than his fair share, um, that we can just pay for a bond clean to come in, do a massive clean of the house. We've been here four years now, well, just where we will have been by then. Um, also, if we do happen to be moving out, like as I mentioned in my last video, we're a bit unsure about what's going to happen, um, then that'll cover us for the bond clean. Separate to our, um, oh, it's not in here anymore, it's in there. Separate to our moving expenses. Okay. Hoi. So that is all of that. Then we have some new, other new savings games and things that I have got up on Etsy. So we have Let's Avocado. Uh, just because it's very cute. Um, so we've got avocados and love hearts and, you know, they're having a cheeky nuggle. Um, you can decide on the value. So you can make this a low, um, like a mini tracker, or you can make it a bigger tracker, completely up to you. So on Etsy, save my digits, we'll save $55. And it's just all the numbers on the phone. And I've made the zero a 10 so that it's 55 instead of 45 because that just felt like a better amount to me i love you a latte which i just thought was cute um so this is all fives this one will save you a hundred however when you buy this one you will get both that and a blank version so then you can decide what numbers you want on there so they come as one file they'll be in one listing save a gotchi is now up which i showed you guys last week on monday and boobies is also now up which i also showed you guys on monday Woo um yeah i finally had some time to sit down and do some creating which was awesome and then some freebies for you guys so anything that i create that is like brand named like or has a reference to a brand I will more than likely make a freebie because I don't want to fight with Etsy over the listing. So anything Disney related, anything Lego re related, anything anything that's obviously linked to some kind of brand or whatever, I will do as a freebie. So Lego Fun is going up as a freebie if you click the link for the drive down below. Also Car Lotto, same deal here. You can choose how much each car's worth and just cross them off as you go. That will be in, coming into my mini Mondays at some point to save for our car sinking funds. And I have created 2025s for 2025. So we've got 20 little piggies worth $25 and that will save you 500 going into 2025. So it's just kind of like a, I just thought it was a cute idea to have a kickstart for your bills for 2025 or um, yeah, your savings for 2025, whatever you want to use it for. That will be a freebie down below as well. All right, now that I feel like I have already done a full length video, let's get into what we're actually here for today, which is a large cash unstuffing. Um, unfortunately, we are unstuffing. This is our horrible month of the year where we get hit with every utility bill all in one month. So our water bill just came through. So we are unstuffing that. So that was 220. So we've got 120, 40, 60, 80, 200. Is that right? I thought I already had 220 in here. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. Okay, so we'll have to unstuff another 20. Well, what's going to go into it this week? I'll put straight in with that. Electricity, we are unstuffing 550. So 400's already in the bank. So we're going to take out an extra 150. So that leaves $40 in there. In fact, I might take... No, I won't take that out of there. I'll take it out of gas. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay, so that's that. Gas, we are taking out, oh, 450. Oh, that's gonna be tricky. Okay, so we're gonna take out that 500. We are gonna put 50 back in. Look like this. Yeah, okay, and I'm gonna take the extra 20 for water out of there. 
So that will leave us with one, 150, 160 in gas. Um, I might put that $20 back later or I might just leave it to be honest. Uh, so that's everything from in there, which is pretty ugly. And then we're gonna go to school expenses. And my oldest has an excursion this week and she needs money for um, lunch while she's on the excursion. So we are gonna take out $20 for her uh, to take with her. And that is all, which is good, which doesn't make it seem like a big unstuffing. However, we're gonna have a lot of money here. So let's just, oops, that way. And they're all 20s, okay. So in total, we are unstuffing 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 220, 230, 240. So $1,240. It's either already in the bank or we're going back to bank to pay all those bills and for my daughter's uh, excursion. Okay. So... Let's have a look where we are up to. Do we normally do our weekly check-in first? Why do I forget this every time? Let's do our check-in and then we'll do our budget. Well, let me just see. Oh, I've just lost all that nice natural light that I had. I'll just zoom in a little more. Okay, so we had done really well with groceries this week. <laughs> well, like, I mean, we definitely went over, but we hadn't gone that far over. But then um, last night we had a... So last night or the night before, we had a dinner disaster where I thought we had things that we had and then it turned out they didn't arrive in the shop. So then we had to do a dash to the supermarket to get some things. And then hubby forgot one of the things that we actually needed. And then it got far too late, but also I didn't want to get takeaway. So we ended up buying a whole nother dinner, which is fine. Like this is an extra dinner for the week. Um, like we just bought a whole nother dinner from the supermarket that was going to be much, much quicker to put together. So we ended up spending uh, $336.02. So we are over $167.62. And this is obviously a pattern that's happening over and over again. So it is something that I will rectify in our budget moving forward. It's just going to be a bit tricky for me to do this month. Um, so we'll see how we go next week and the week after, but come July, I will definitely put in a bit more into our groceries category so that this isn't a recurring theme because I'm not a fan. Uh, we had $9 left in takeaway. We haven't had any takeaway, so we still have $9 left in... No, why did I put that there? We still have $9 left in there. Um, yeah, I will... I'm not sure. I'll either leave that there to roll into next week um, or I'll add it to that to reduce that a little bit. Um, petrol, we added 40. I filled up 40, so we're back to zero there. Chemist, we didn't add anything. We didn't spend anything, so we have the same in there. That will go down this week because I have to go and get some things uh, for me. Then let's check out our paycheck budget. I am wondering, can you let me know, like come next month, I'm thinking about just doing a monthly budget. And then just showing you guys at the end of the month what we spent versus what we budgeted. Um, I feel like that might be, a, it might be a bit clearer um, in terms of what we're spending in total, where it's going, things like that. Um, let me know. Let me know what you think. Um, obviously, it would likely mean one less video a week, although probably not because I think I'm going to start splitting my savings challenges out from my main cash stuffing video. So it'll probably still be three videos a week most of the time. And then I'll do bonus videos for, yeah, the monthly budget, cash condensing, um, end of month totals. Okay, so after rent this week, we have 1822 from our regular income. And I have brought across $25 from my Etsy income. There is an Etsy binder coming. I have been working on her. She's going to be beautiful. Um, yeah, she's coming. it is coming. I know quite a few of you were like, yes, do the Etsy binder. Um, so we have 1,847 all together. The only fixed expense getting any love this week is ambulance and that's getting $7 and that's bringing us pretty close to what we owe. I think I need like another 
out of our next pay and then I'll be able to pay that bill. Uh, so 1840 is left in there, variable expenses. So groceries is getting 740. Takeout is getting 50. Petrol is getting 100. Chemist is getting 20. That's likely to all go this week, unfortunately. And spending, that's for hubby, is getting 20. Because I already blew all of my spending money, didn't I? Uh, so that's 930, and that leaves us with 910. So, cash envelopes is getting 635, and you will see where all of that is going on Wednesday. Let's see if I can finish up my super. This is not the big, um, I've split Mini Mondays out, so you can see. So, we're going to do $30 for Mini Mondays, so that's 665. This is not the big paycheck that I was hoping it would be for this week. That payment hasn't come through yet, which is no big surprise. It's often has a variation in when it comes through. Um, so yeah, that'll, that'll have to roll into our next paycheck. So I did do some rejigging around where I had planned money come from different paychecks this month. Um, so I do... Um, Sorry, I've got two, two lines of thought going. So our ATO payment is getting 245 and that is the second last payment. Woo, 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 woo. Uh, so that is 245 which gives us our zero-based budget. I do um, am incredibly aware that this all looks very smooth and, um, yeah, like I don't have difficulty allocating where the money goes and things like that. I do work out a, a monthly budget in Excel um, and I work out which funds are coming from which paycheck according to when bills are due and what's coming out and things like that. And then I do shuffle around that around during the month where I need to um, on Excel. So this is the final draft. Like what I'm showing you here is the final draft of what I've decided is going well, but it's not. Yeah, I don't just I don't just know all of these figures, just pulling them out of thin air. I have already allocated all of this stuff in Excel. I do all my cash envelope allocations in Excel. I do all of that there. Um, let me know if you want to see that sometime. I'm sure I can work out how to maybe get it up on the iPad so I can show you or something. If if you are interested, it is just an Excel sheet that I built myself. Um, yeah, and I use that um, to kind of decide where everything is going. So that is our budget for this week. The only thing left to do today is our roundup challenge and it is a big one this week. I think I really helped it out because when I filled up petrol, I filled up like, it was like $39.20 or something. So that was a nice big 80 cent roundup, things like that. So this week we have 6.05, uh, which is a pretty big one and we've only got smallish numbers left. So I am going to speed this up or skip to when I'm done. I will see you in a moment. Okay. So that's that for this week. It is filling up very, very nicely. I think we have $68 in total. So we're getting really, really close to our first hundred, which will be awesome because then that can go straight into our uh, mojo, this one. No, yes, this one. Um, I have just realized that my calculator is probably off screen because I zoomed in for my budget binder. So sorry if you couldn't see any of that. Um, yeah, okay, so that's all for today. Um, I will be back tomorrow uh, with mini Mondays. We're going to set up a different binder, um, which will be fun. It's fun. It's, it's so pretty, you guys. Um, I do absolutely love this one. I just feel like it's a little bit serious for mini Mondays and it's a little bit wasted sitting here. So what I'm going to do is make this my, um, my wallet. It's going to be like my back to bank kind of situation. Um, and I'm doing six envelopes. So we're going to fix up this situation because we've got $4 in there. Currently, so we'll round that up to five <clears throat> and then start tomorrow, the new binder with some amazing envelopes.
that I put together. Um, that's all for today. I hope you guys have had a beautiful weekend. I hope you have a lovely, lovely week. Please join me tomorrow for uh, Monday minis because it's going to be fun and we get to play with this new toy and hopefully it's not too loud. Um, click the link below, download those freebies. That is my way of saying thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit the button and the bell notification if you enjoy my videos. I absolutely love having you guys here. Um, I'm so excited about what I just cash on stuff, like to just have all that money there ready to go for bills, the like well and truly before they're due. Most of them aren't due until the 20th. The water bill's not due until the start of July. Um, but I'm going to have it all sitting there ready to go, which is just a brilliant, brilliant thing. We are well and truly ba breaking the paycheck to paycheck cycle. Um, so this genuinely works and I'm so appreciative of you guys coming along for the ride. Um, yeah, as always, leave me a comment, say hello, have a beautiful week, and I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye.